day two of the state tournament in Des Moines. TV6's Kevin Core has more from the state capitol on how some of our remaining local class two athletes are doing. Welcome back to day two here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines for the state wrestling tournament and we start once again with class 2A. Yesterday the field was cut to 10 local wrestlers, six of them from West Burlington Notre Dame and that puts the Nikes on top of the team standings for class 2A. At the Of those six Notre Dame wrestlers, only two would be left standing after the quarterfinal round. At 132, Nike junior Caden Diesenbach making up for an early exit in last year's championship bracket. Diesenbach scored five takedowns and gave up none to win by a 10-2 major decision. At 113, Carter West is no stranger to the semifinal round. Finishing runner-up in the last two seasons, West looked to be in trouble down 2-0. He gets a reversal with 20 seconds left to send it into overtime. In the extra period, the senior would get a takedown straight into back points. West is back in the semis with a 7-2 win in sudden victory. You know, I had to get my offense going. That kid, he's just trying to hold me out. I couldn't move my feet. So I knew I just had to keep moving and I would eventually get what I needed. Senior year, how important is it to get back to the rest on Saturday afternoon? It's pretty important to me. I mean, second, two years in a row, this one's, this one's a big one. It's my last, last run. Got to give it everything for every match, and that's what I'm doing. Three other local wrestlers will be back on the mats in the semifinals at heavyweight Big Russ Coil of Columbus. Winfield Mount Union was holding on to a 1-0 lead late when with 10 seconds left, he gets a takedown and near fall to move on with a 6-0 decision. Assumption will have one in the semis as well. Caden Wild at 132 scored two on a takedown in the first and then added two in the second and third in reversals to score a 6-2 win on the scoreboard. Exactly where I should be right now. Uh, no, it's just been wrestling smart, been in my offense. That's all I really can do. Uh, yeah, I just need to make sure I'm always looking to score, always, always on my offense. That's all I really, that's all I really need to do. The final semifinalist comes from Central DeWitt. Royce Butt gets a reversal midway through the second period to build a 4-0 lead. He'd need all of those points as he rolls on to a 4-2 decision. The next hour at 6 o'clock, we will bring you all the highlights from the second session. Class 3A and the Bettendorf Bulldogs in Des Moines. Kevin Core, KWQC, TV6 